गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट अस कंटिन्यू चैप्टर नंबर 16 क्लाइमेट यस्टरडे ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कोल्ड वेदर सीजन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द वॉर्म वेदर सीजन दैट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड समर सीजन एंड इन हिंदी इट इज कॉल्ड ग्रीष्म ऋतु मींस ग्रीष्म सीजन नाउ इन इंडिया वॉर्म एंड ड्राई सीजन बिटवीन मार्च टू मे is called summer during this period the sun rays falls vertically shifting from the south to north gradually and the land mass becomes warmer temperature increases continuously the month of the march is hottest month in the southern india temperature exceeds 40 degrees celsius at many places central and north west india experience maximum temperature during april and may at some places uh, like uh, the temperature reaches around 45 degrees celsius to the 50 degrees celsius like you know the desert of rajasthan thus entire nation experiences very high temperature during the summer due to the altitude of peninsula and the plateau the summer in south india is little mild means wahan garmi zyada nahi lagti hai kam bhi nahi zyada bhi nahi that is mild that is called mild halki si garmi lagti hai and here the compared to north india the temperature here remains low while the temperature in delhi and allahabad is 34 degree celsius it is 30 degree celsius at madurai and 27 degree celsius at bangalore this physical features and sea seems to have dominating effects on temperature in south you know that south india is covered from three sides by sea water so that's why the there is a difference of temperature is seen in north and south india now during this season the tropical cyclones develop over bay of bengal and over arabian sea advance towards coastal area and cause devastating effects over coastal regions most of the country experiences hot and dry weather during the summer most of the places do not receive any rain in the season but sometimes malabar coast gets some rain which helps the mango crop so it is called amra vrishti amra vrishti means this is useful uh, to mango and coffee crops अगर ये इस टाइम में बारिश होती है तो मैंगो और कॉफी के क्रॉप के लिए फायदेमंद होती है दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड आम्र वृष्टि ओके सो कम्प्लीटेड इज समर सीजन नाउ द एडवांसिंग मॉनसून सीजन दैट इज कॉल्ड रेनी सीजन एंड दैट विल लास्ट इन इंडिया फ्रॉम जून टू सेप्टेम्बर इंडिया इज एग्रेरियन कंट्री so rainy season is very important season for india about 80% of rainfall of our country is received between june to september indian farmer is busy in farming from beginning of the rainy season southwest monsoon winds are responsible for the rain and the humid and cloudy weather that's why it is also known as the season of south west monsoon winds almost entire india gets rainfall due to these winds by the end of may a low pressure develops due to high temperature over india and central asia at this time indian ocean in the south develops high pressure so winds blow towards northern low pressure pockets the summer monsoon winds blow from the ocean towards india 
as these winds are moisture laden and they bring the rains now due to peninsular shape of india the southwest monsoon winds are divided into two parts arabian sea current and bay of bengal current now tomorrow we shall discuss one by one these currents okay